What up friends, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back to another video. It's Friday. It is actually Friday today. I'm not just saying that and preempting for Friday. It is Friday. I'm late with this, but I've been fishing, so I'm not sorry at all. This Friday, what are we doing? Mending, line control, line management. I'm just going to talk through the basics of what mending is, what line management is, what line control is all about. Too easy. Okay, so line control, line management, mending, whatever you want to call it. All you're trying to do is move your line around so that you get the longest, slowest, most natural looking drift you can, in a nutshell. For example, if I pop my cast out there like this and then do absolutely nothing, the first thing you're going to notice is that big U-shape of line forming, right? That's just the current grabbing the fly line and what that's going to end up doing is dragging the indicator and therefore the flies and what that's going to do is it's going to make those flies drift super super unnaturally and very unlikely to get a fish to eat your flies like that so again if i just throw that out there like that and do absolutely nothing pretty quickly this uh this line's going to get a big u shape in it now i've got drag now my flies aren't fishing well and it's not going to get eaten so what I'm going to do is just move that line around a bit. For example, if I bang that bang out there like this, all I'm going to do now is just take my rod tip and I'm going to move that line upstream a bit. And straight away, you can see what a difference that makes to my drift. You can just see that that fly line isn't getting that U-shape quite as quickly. It's starting to form a bit now, but really nothing like as quickly as it did before. So to pop it out there, all you're trying to do is just lift that line up and move it upstream of the indicator in this scenario anyway essentially all you're trying to do is just buy yourself time you're always going to get drag eventually but what you're trying to do is delay the inevitable so if i use my rod tip now i'm going to move that line upstream a little bit and now i've pretty much doubled my drift sometimes you're going to have to do big mends sometimes you're going to have to do small mends Sometimes you're gonna to have to do upstream men. Sometimes you're gonna to have to do downstream men. Sometimes you're gonna to have to do both. Sometimes you don't have to do any men at all. And that just depends on the bit of water you're fishing, what kind of currents are happening, how long your cast is, how long your drift is, all that kind of stuff. But what I tell people is, if you're not quite sure which way to mend, just look what's happening between your rod tip and your indicator, and it will tell you what you've got to do. If you see that U shape forming below the rod tip, lift it up send it the other way. If you're getting dragged from the other way, then you want to move it downstream. If you're fishing upstream, like straight upstream, and things are coming back towards you, things happen a little bit differently. So say for example, I'm fishing straight up here with a dry fly or a nymph or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now, if I'm sending my cars upstream, I don't actually have to mend, but what I do have to do is manage the slack. If I do nothing here and a fish eats here, I'm never actually going to connect with that fish in the first place, let alone hang on to it. So, rather than mending, what I'm having to do here is take up that slack line and retrieve that slack. Not so much that I'm pulling on the flies, just enough I've got a good drag-free drift and if that indicator does go under and I need to set to a fish, I can actually make a connection. So that's a different kind of line management. That's not mending, that's just line management. That's just taking care of the slack line so that if and when a fish eats, I can connect with it while maintaining a good drift. And another thing you can do is once you've done this, once you've done your cast, once you've done your mend, and you can see you're getting to the end of the drift, you can preempt that you're going to get drag. Well, you can always let some line into the system and you can fish on downstream and increase your drift out the bottom there like that. You know, there's a lot of things you can do to get the better drift. There's no real rule. Basically, a lot of it's just making up. Look at what's going on, on the water, in front of you, and then just use your rod tip to move the line around. That's pretty much all mending is. I get to the end of that drift there, I could actually start letting line out now. I could still set on a fish if I had to. I'm not pulling on my flies, and I'm just letting it just drift out and increase the drift. Right, when it comes to mending, what you see a lot of people do is just literally drag it to the side like this. And that's not actually doing anything but dragging your flies towards you. What you want to be doing, or what you want to be thinking about instead, is actually lifting your rod tip up 
and over and actually using your lifting your line off the water and moving it around whether it's up or it's down or, or whatever it doesn't matter but rather than just dragging the rod tip to the side like that what you want to be doing is lifting your line up off the water and moving it across one way or the other so think about that as well don't just drag it to the side lift it up and over that's pretty much it to be honest that's all mending is it's just looking at what's going on in front of you then using your rod tip to lift your line up move it around so your flies drift more naturally for longer therefore you should potentially catch more fish all right sweet so obviously i didn't cover everything there but hopefully i covered enough that it gave you an idea if you're struggling with what that's all about hopefully you've got a bit of an idea now what you're trying to do really once you get the pictures in your head it all then kind of falls into place and it becomes a lot more simple and really the only way to get good at that like with most fishing is just to get on the water as much as you can and practice 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 nothing beats time on the water so as soon as you can get back out there get into it get your head around it and then just practice short and sweet this week i hope that was helpful i hope that was interesting meh hope that filled six minutes of your day i'll see you guys on tuesday and we'll go fishing and yeah until then have a great weekend see you on tuesday Ciao.